Okay, so this quite possibly is going to be the easiest thing we study all year long. Isn't that awesome? Um, in the midst of a lot of other stuff that's fairly hard um, or a little confusing and complicated, um, you're going to get something easy, and I love that. So um, we're going to do this. It's going to be really quick. Um, make sure you have your notes from wherever they are in the room. Uh, make sure you have your notes, your 13B notes. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to just look at the two lists on the screen. And I want you to come up with a title for the list on the left and a title for the list on the right. And I'm going to count to 10 in my head, and then I'm going to talk to you. But just come up with a, li come up with a label. Come up with a title. Okay, so one year um, when I did this, I had a student say, oh, well, everything on the left is a good and everything on the right is a service. And I was like, oh, that's really smart. I hadn't thought about that. Um, and that's totally accurate. But for the purposes of this lesson, what I wanted you to notice <laughs> is that everything on the left is a private good or service. Everything on the right is a public good or service. So what does that mean? It means the things on the left are provided by profit um, and by individuals and businesses, whereas everything on the left is provided, or excuse me, on the right is provided by taxes and by the government. So this is really the gist of what we're talking about today. What goods and services are provided by individuals and businesses and what goods and services are provided by the government. So if you look at the list on the left, the government does not provide us with paper, which is what stationery is. The government does not provide us with computers. The government does not sell us our cell phones. Those are all individual companies that do that. The government does, however, provide us with the U.S. military. They provide us with a post office. They provide us with interstate highways, with schools, and then some colleges and universities. So again, this is the gist of what we're doing today. Private goods and services are provided by individuals and businesses. Public goods and services are provided by the government. All right, so let's talk about your notes. So the background is that the government provides certain goods and services that individuals and businesses acting alone cannot provide efficiently. It is counterproductive to have 50 different armies in the United States. Every state does not need its own army. We need a U.S. army. Kansas cannot have a military. I mean, excuse me. Kansas cannot have a navy because Kansas does not have any water. Um, Montana cannot have a Navy. They don't have access to an ocean. So we have a U.S. Navy. Imagine how chaotic it would be if you tried to mail a letter from here to Florida and it had to transition from the Virginia Postal Service to the North Carolina Postal Service to the South Carolina Postal Service to the Georgia Postal Service to the Florida Postal Service before it finally got where it was going. I can only imagine how long that would take. Way too long to be efficient. So the U.S. government provides a postal service so that everybody's mail is handled the same. Makes it easier, makes it more efficient. So public goods and services can be described as that's pretty much what this is saying. So they provide benefits to many simultaneously. What does simultaneously mean? Think about it for a second. So above simultaneously, I want you to put at the same time. At the same time. So many, many people are benefiting from these public goods and services at the same time. That's one good thing. They would not likely be available if individuals had to provide them. The mail service would cease to function if every single state had their own. Well, maybe they wouldn't cease to function. They would function, but it would not be in any way that was efficient. 
So how, do the, how does the government pay for public goods and services? Um, taxes, obviously. Um, and then borrowed funds. And borrowed funds means exactly what it sounds like. It's where they have borrowed money from usually another country um, to provide those public goods and services. And then obviously borrowed means we pay them back. All right. So, isn't that awesome? Sandwich of $100 bills. I want you to go ahead and pause the video. Chew your notes. Answer those three questions. Raise your hand if you have any questions. Um, and hit play when you are done. All right, so attached to your notes, I think it's on the back as a worksheet. I want you to label each picture as being a public good or service or a private good or service. So a public good or, good or service, again, is something that is provided by the government. A private good or service is something that's provided by an individual or a business. I am going to go over the answers in this video. But you are not going to benefit if you just wait for the answers. So I want you to pause the video. I want you to label each picture. And then once you've labeled each picture, public or private, then hit play. Pause the video. Do the work. Hit play. So at the top of the page, it says private goods and services are provided by individuals and businesses. Public goods and services are provided by the government. So again, what's provided by individuals and businesses? Private goods and services. What's provided by the government? Public goods and services. So which is which? Well, let's go through and label the public ones first. So the U.S. military is a public good or service. National parks, public. Virginia State Police, public. Schools, public. Highways and interstates, public. And then you can't see that. But the postal service in the bottom right-hand corner, that's a public good or service. Now, there was one that was a little tricky. If you saw the books and you said, oh, that's a library, that's a public good or service. If you saw the picture of books and you said, oh, that's a bookstore, that's private. So it just depends on what you saw when you looked at it. And I apologize that it wasn't clearer. Um, everything else is private. So television stations are private. Doctor's offices are private. Airlines, private. Grocery stores, which you can't see, those are private. Gas stations are private. Music, either digital music or CDs, CD stores, they're all private. So again, Public goods and services are provided by the government. Private goods and services are provided by individuals and businesses. Public goods and services are provided through, how do we pay for public goods and services? Tax revenue and borrowed funds. Okay, so that's it for this video. Check the board for what you are supposed to do next. Thanks for watching.